Hello everybody. Welcome back to the shop. Okay now, I'm going to trim this Kevlar. See it's sticky but not wet. And this is when you trim this Kevlar man. If you wait. You will be sorry. Bam. Okay, now we're going to take it and douse it with more resin. This is what's going to seal off the Kevlar. Any pinholes in there will be filled up. And this is the last step. Tomorrow morning we'll demold it. And I'll have my first A4 tank, baby. Nice Kevlar one. Bigger than that plastic one, hold more fuel. Should be lighter too. That plastic's pretty thick. Okay, let's put this big old centerpiece in there first.
spam. Now these sides, I forgot to cut. I'm just going to whoop these up out of some scrap. Which is just fine. Use up some of my scrap pieces. You know, I got some vacuum infusion resin over there. And I'm going to try it on these tanks one of these days. But I just, I want to get a couple tanks made and then we'll experiment. I've never done infusion yet, but I think it'd work good on fuel tanks. And make them not leak because it pulls all the air out, you know. And this will finish this tank off nicely. Beautiful baby.
And I'll just let this set all the way up before I trim these, this edge. It's just three ounce. Uh, trimming it's no problem when it's set up and cured. Look for dry spots. One little place right here where that glass is short. Probably be just fine, but. What the hey? We're here, let's do it. Dry spots, no air bubbles. Looks good, baby. There's one Kevlar tank. All laid up. Dab some of this extra resin out of here. You want to make sure you get some resin on that excess. It trims off good when there's resin on it. It frays when they don't, when there ain't. Hi right, guys. I'm going to get uh, the bottom done and let these things set up. And we'll pull them out of the mold tomorrow. See you back in the shop. First thing in the morning. St. Bob time. St. Bob station.